One and only Donnie Rotten, and thank goodness for that. Collar elbow tie up right in the center of the ring, and look at this. Rotten now displaying some very nice wrestling in the opening moments. Brian, could I get you to comment quickly on the fact that we will have Dylan Cage versus Big Gun Jim Sargent in a matchup we've all been waiting for here, right here on the program next week. Well, as you know, it was weeks ago. High backdrop right there. Let me comment on that. It was weeks ago when uh, Dylan Cage feels he was uh, robbed of the heavyweight championship by the outside interference of Big Gun Jim Sargent. To the outside goes Donnie Rotten. I do want to comment on that, but this action is hot and heavy in the opening moments of this title matchup here this week. Well, there's no doubt about it. I don't want to take anything away from this matchup, but Big Gun Jim Sargent. Whoa, look at this. Poncho right over the top rope. Holy cow, and out to the not-so-forgiving concrete floor. Well, as you can see, whether it's by design or not, Wrestling Star Wars has no mats on the ring. I don't think Bill Watts had anything to do with that decision, but we do not have them. It just might be that they cost too much. It could very well be. It's you know, 10 grand they, uh, for those mats, you know. The budget in the office is, uh, is what it is. Leg sweep right there, Russian style. And uh, he never ceases to amaze me, does Donnie Rotten. Well, where's the singlet without the straps up? As you mentioned, he didn't know they were supposed to be like that. And now he seems to have some sort of voodoo neckwear <laughs> that he's wearing. <laughs> oh, oh man. man! And a DDT to boot in his arsenal. Two, three, two, wow, oh, they count of two. He planted him with that, and Kid USA kicked out? Well, that's why he's the champ. Yeah, well, you mentioned earlier about the budget being what it is for wrestling Star Wars. That's because we don't spend thousands and thousands of dollars for a 1 o'clock in the morning time slot on Friday nights. A point well taken. You can go to WrestlingStarWars.com anytime you want and check out our killer time slots all across the seacoast. Big splash right there, and he may have it. Can you imagine Donnie Rotten as the New England heavyweight champion? I could think of worse people to be New England champion. Yeah, well, I suppose I could, too. I have to think about it for a few minutes, but I'm sure I could. I suppose I'm with you on that one. Look out. He waited too long. Oh, what a slam by Kid USA. Covers him up. One, and That's going to do it. Oh. No, it isn't. We have a determined challenger in Donnie Rotten. And, Brian, of course, uh, Astro Man has challenged Ron Zombie for a hardcore match. Yes, and uh, we will have that next week as uh, Kid USA drops the elbow. However... It is an unsanctioned matchup. We well, will not sanction a hardcore match here at Wrestling Star Wars. Well, uh, Astro Man winning the WWC hardcore. Look at this maneuver, look at this, Brian. This, look at this pendulum. It's really going to stretch out the back of the shoulders of Dolly oh. Rotten just before his solar plexus gets squashed a la J. Gillette. One, two, wow. very consistent counts by the referee. Getting back to Astro Man, though, winning the WWC hardcore title in Puerto Rico, so he will not be defending that belt here next week. Well, he can if he wants to. However, we're not going to sanction it in Wrestling Star Wars. Well, you and Big Willie are the bosses, so I'll go along with that. We're about wrestling. We're not about brawling or hardcore style. Look out. Oh, man. Nice use of the ropes right there. Nice uh, use of his own weight and uh, cannot quite put away Donnie Rutt. Well, when you talk about a feature matchup next week, this, t this hardcore match that we're talking about, if you're into hardcore wrestling, you've got the right guys. You're talking about Mr. Hardcore and Ron Zombie, and Astro Man's forehead looks like a road map. Indeed it does. And you know how that happened. Yeah, from getting bashed in several hundred times. Look at that neck breaker by Donnie Rotten. We're going to have a new champion right here, Webster. That has got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie Rotten said he was going to win the title, and he could very well do it right here. Look at this now. And if he gets it. him over, he's going to have that sharpshooter on him. He's got it. He's got the sharpshooter on the New England heavyweight champion. Well, Kid USA is coming off this very hard-fought victory over Curtis Slamdog last week. He's had a very difficult set schedule. He could submit right here, Brian. This could be it right here as this crowd comes alive with a chant of USA. Kid USA has got to get himself out of this or he is going to be in a load of trouble. And, and he made it to the ropes. He has. Capacity crowd here at the combat zone, solidly behind Kid USA. Donnie Rotten, I don't think his family even cheers for him, do they? I don't think so. I don't know his family, and uh, quite frankly, I don't want to know his family. That was a figure of speech, rubbing neck. Look at that. Right into that voodoo necklace. And again, he slapped it off him. But no, the necklace is still intact, Webster. That reminds me of the thing that Peter Brady found on that episode of the Brady Bunch. Look at this so guy. Look at it. One, two. You got out of there with two. two. Oh, look at this. 
Only on This Week in Wrestling can you go from a fireman's carry to the Brady Bunch. That's right. Not only is it the hottest half hour on television, the fastest ride in the amusement park, it is also the most unpredictable 30 minutes on wrestling television. And I'll tell you something right now, we got a great matchup here for the fans. Big clothesline right there. And listen to this crowd with a round of boos for Donny Rotten. Uh oh, look, he is setting him uh -oh. up for the Rotten Bomb. Look at this. Oh, Kid USA, look at this. Look at that. He blocked it. Uh oh, he's got his man. No, oh, look at that nice block right there. Reversal again by Kid USA. Reversal by Donny Rotten. He's going for that pump handle again. He wants it. The oh. Rotten Bomb. We got a new champion right now. Two and new champion. Only a count of two. How did he kick out? I haven't seen anybody kick out of the Rotten Bomb, quite wow. frankly. Well, Donnie Rotten now appears to be somewhat disoriented because that was his finishing move that he went there. And now this could be another trademark move of Donnie Rotten when he goes to the top rope and completely misses the move. <laughs> well, that is a definite point well taken. And Donnie Rotten, I feel, is going to a land oh! where he should not go. And indeed, he's paying the price. I don't think there's going to be any any little Donnie Rottens anytime soon. Look at this. Uh -oh. Right into the Stars and Stripes forever, Brian. Spins his man, slams him down. Look, uh -oh. he's not going for the pin. Now, this could be a mistake by the heavyweight champion as he goes upstairs. As he goes way upstairs, all the way to the top floor, and oh. drops a big elbow. Cashman down. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Another successful title defense for Kid USA, Jay Gillette. And we will see you right here next week on This Week in Wrestling.